What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Hope you're having a great day. Today I just want to go over some visual like appearance changes that I'm going to be making on my Razer MX650. Lately I've been riding this a lot uh, around my new neighborhood and um, it, I guess it's a little uncommon to see someone riding something that looks kind of like a dirt bike around this area it really wouldn't have been a big deal in my old neighborhood since people ride atvs and stuff there pretty often so i guess that might be contributing a little bit to why i might be getting some dirty looks when i ride to the grocery store or the gas station in this thing uh, not to mention that it's bright yellow so what i'm looking to do is to make it look more like a electric mini mountain bike so kind of like a small suron and um, also a lot more subtle not the sprite yellow. One of the first things I'm gonna take off is this front fender and this white thing, because uh, it looks like it's a dirt bike. Uh, and then I'm actually gonna carve out the rear fairing uh, to get rid of these side panels, just to make it look more sleek. And then I'm gonna refinish the whole thing, at least the fairing. I'm not ready to paint the frame. Uh, so let's get started. I've honestly lost count of how many times I've taken this bike apart in the last six or seven weeks. While I have it apart, I might as well take off the remaining paint that's left over on the bottom side of the seat from when I took off the logo with some acetone. And then um, to give you an idea of what the cut is gonna look like, I'm just gonna smoothen it over here and let the line keep going so it just subtly sinks into the seat. Um, Trying to do that on both sides and then smoothen the edges before we paint it. I also ended up taking off this chain guard just because less plastics on the bike the better, I think. Um, also, like how the exposed chain with the new brushless motor looks. I'm eventually going to get rid of the bottom plastic covers as well when I have the new lithium battery pack sitting at the bottom. Uh, right now, I think it's too messy, too many wires in there to leave it exposed. So we'll leave that for later. Just doing a test cut on the part that I was going to cut off anyway. It looks like you could just take a pair of shears and cut this plastic. I was afraid it was going to crack apart. Uh, I was going to bust out the Dremel, but I guess I may not have to. I finally got the target shape that I was looking for. Took a while to smoothen all the rough edges with the, that I cut with the shears, but eventually got it super smooth, symmetrical. Now I'm ready to prep the surface and get this thing refinished. And in case you're wondering why I didn't take out the Razor today uh, to do the top speed run with the new brushless motor setup, it's because there's a thunderstorm outside. This is what I'm using to paint the fairings, Rust-Oleum 2X, supposedly really good for plastic. So we'll see. I'm gonna start by spraying the underside first, the less visible side, just to make sure we get some couple practice clean passes before we do the more exposed side because I want this thing to look really clean.
Man, this is exactly the look that I was going for. I like how sleek the rear looks now without the outer panels on the rear fairing. It looks, in my opinion, a little less like a dirt bike and more like an electric mountain bike. So I'd like to know what you guys think. Everyone has a different taste. This personally, I think it looks much better this way. I think it's a lot more subtle and aggressive at the same time. I just wanted it to look more city friendly and less dirt bike. So let me know what you guys think. I was nervous about this rear cut, but it ended up looking really nice and clean and smooth. And I like how it just has a little bit of this exposed frame in the rear. So that's, man, I love this naked look. I'm also considering putting some street tires on it since I no longer have gravel roads around me or dirt roads. It's gonna be a lot less common that I use that. I'm most likely gonna be using this thing for the street and some local parks. I'm thinking of replacing the rear 2.5 by 10 inch um, tire with a like a three by 10 or maybe a three and a half if I could fit it. Let me know if you know anything about the biggest sizes available. And then for the front, I'm a little confused because it says 16 by 2.4 on the tire, but I measured the rim out to be a 12. So I'm looking at 12 by like two and a half or 2.75 street tire on the front. So I think that'll look really well balanced, but I'm still unsure of the, the rim size since I'm getting like conflicting information about it. So let me know if you can confirm the tire size for the front. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you wanna keep up with my MX650, MX2000 build, um, or some of my other projects, consider subscribing to my channel. But this is gonna be it for today. Thank you for watching.